Hello dudes welcome to the second chapter of programming series which is pointers so basically pointers is associated with the memory location of variables so the memory of your computer system is divided into small chunks of data which is called bits eight such consecutive bits are known together as one byte okay now each such byte that is 8 bits are recognized by a unique location number which is also called address of that particular memory location so if we want to store that address to some variable we will need pointer type of variable okay Here, so any variable you defined in your program, it will be stored in some memory location. And if you want to store the address of that memory location to some variable, you will need pointer type of variable. Okay. So to work with pointer type variable, we will need two special type of operators. First one is ampersand sign, which is called address operator. or reference operator okay the another one is star which is in direction operator or value operator okay so let's understand their fun functionality using a small example so let's say you are writing your main function and in your main function you write an integer variable and you assign value 10 in it so what happen during compilation of the program the compiler will assign a particular memory location with name i and it puts the value 10 inside that memory location so let's say the address of this particular memory location is 1000 okay so now you want to store this address into some variable so you will need a pointer variable so to define a integer type of pointer variable integer type of pointer variable means the pointer variable which can store address of an integer variable okay so you just need to write in Star sign and your pointer variable name. So this int star will define that p is a pointer variable of type int. Okay. Now you can store in p the ad address of any memory location of some integer variable. So p is equal to ampersand i. So what does this ampersand i means it means address of the particular memory location where i is located so it will return 1000 and that 1000 you are storing inside p so p you have also defined it is a variable so it will also occupy your memory location its name is p now as you are assigning the address of i inside p it will contain 1000 and let's say the memory location of p is 2000 okay so this 1000 is being stored inside p by this assignment statement all right so now you want to print the values assigned inside i i and p okay so you write print f percentage d percentage d i So first, the value of i will be printed, which is which is ten. Next, you write value of p. So what will be the value of p? Value of p will not give you one thousand. It will give you the value of the particular memory location whose value is stored inside p. So value of the thousand memory location thousand is ten. So this thing will also return you. 10 so this print statement will give you output 
10 10 okay now next print statement percentage u to print unsigned integer and basically pointer variable stores unsigned integer value percentage p which is used for printing hexadecimal value and now you write ampersand i i have already mentioned that ampersand i means address of i which is 1000 and you write the p okay so p contains what 1000 and ampersand i also contains 1000 so first 1000 will be printed and then the hexadecimal value of 1000 will be printed so it will give you the address in decimal format decimal format and this will give you the address in hex, hexadecimal format okay now if we use percentage d to print the value of p it will print 1000 but if the value of the memory location you already know it is unsigned int, int so the range of unsigned int is greater than the range of int so if the value exceeds the range of int then this will give you wrong answer but for this case it will give you correct answer which is 1000 now if you write printf percentage u address of p then what will be printed so what is the address of p here let's see the value stored inside the variable p is 1000 so while we are write, uh, giving output p it gives us 1000 but the address of this variable p is what this is 2000 okay so that when we are trying to print the address of p it will give us 2000 okay so as i have explained this example using int of int variable you can have similar examples using any other data type and for each data type the type of pointer will vary because according to the size of your data type the particular type of pointer which is used varies so if you have any doubt you can ask in our doubt section thank you for watching